This is my first time in the Harlem Final Show, but through African Art, as our gallery, through AfricanArt.com, this is the fourth time. When I first heard um, Harlem Final Show, browse through the website, oh, this is something I should be a part of. What I like very well about this show is um, well organized, you know, communication flow, networking perfect, mm -hmm. um, exchanging clients perfect, sales is ongoing. Yeah. We love it and we, we like, uh, you know, the atmosphere, the exchange in and the way people embrace black art, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. You know, sometimes in your studio you create works and you imagine who is going to have this artwork. Mm -hmm. And now you hear people come over and say, oh, I like this, this reminds me of this and this. Right. Meanwhile, you know, it's something that came out of inspiration, you know, of something that leads to another thing. And that's how you, we grow from there. Um, for artists, um, you're missing the connection, you know, um, it's, which is very important in our practice. Wherever you create, at least once a while, you should, you should have a wide range of people coming to the artwork at a time, looking at the work, giving you feedback, the, you know, the discourse, the exchange there. And you see people and how they also relate to your work and how they respect your work. When you have that in your practice, it inspires you to do more. For buyers, collectors, this is the best way because you meet the artist, you meet the gallery representing the artist, and you get original piece. If you get prints, they are signed. You know, so this kind of this is it's, it's a whole community mm -hmm. that um, if you're in the art community, you miss it because this is something you should be a part of. It's a big miss for people who are not here. Mm -hmm. Even you know, we meet people, we meet even kids come here and say, "Oh, I like this, I like this," and I say, "Okay, yeah, go ahead, draw something for me." Then they get draw something for me. Very interesting. Yes. You know, so you know that kind of conversation is what and it promotes uh, unity. It promotes world peace like what happened.